So you're new into the hobby and you've built your first squad using the Vista system or maybe perhaps the air unit or the O3 air unit and you set up everything and everything seems fine but when you go out into the field you don't have OSD. Keep watching and I'll share with you the magic words to have the OSD on your DJI BTX. <laughs> Bomb day everyone! So, um, it is your first time building a quad and everything seems great and you've set up the quad really nice and all that and when you bring it out to fly you realize that you don't have OSD. So the thing is about the Vista or Air Unit or O3 Air Unit, so you've tried everything and no matter what you do you don't have the OSD on your DJI VTX. So here are the CLI commands that I use to have the OSD onto my display. So first and foremost the flight controller has to be upgraded to 4.3.1 and uh, at least 4.3 minimum before you can actually hit the commands for the OSD. So what you want to do is go into better flight and into the CLI you gotta make sure that the flight controller is in better flight 4.3 and what you're gonna do is you're gonna type set osd underscore display port underscore device equals to msp and the next line that you're gonna do is you're gonna type set display port underscore msp underscore serial equals to one to zero to whatever the number that you have your vtx is on in this sense if you are if your VTX is set at UART 1, then the number that you would want to have displayed is 0. And if the VTX is on UART 2, then you will set the DisplayPort MSP serial equals to 1. So this is basically it. And after you have all that set up, you will definitely have your OSD back on your display. This is just the base code, so this is what you want to do for your quad. Or maybe you don't have video, so if you don't have video, then just swap the wires, the RX1 and TX1. Sometimes the flight controllers are not labeled correctly. Right, so once that is all done, you should have your OSD displayed properly, and it, it may be a little off, but you know, you, you can adjust it according to how you like it. It's all done on better flight. So, Hope you enjoy the rest of this video.
Alright, so that's it for today's video. So if you have any issues or things like that, do feel free to join us on Discord in the links down below. There's a bunch of people who are awesome down there who will assist if you have any issues. They've gone through the same thing and so have I. And so we share all our issues on the Discord channel and find a fix for it. If I can't help you, then perhaps someone else can or it it's just basically a very small community which I really love so much. And here's a big shout out to all of you on the Shogun Emperor Discord. You guys are really amazing. So, thank you all for watching and see you guys again soon. Ciao.